Hey everyone, this is Greg, and today we're gonna to talk about linking an MR report to Excel. So there's two ways we can do this. We can do this with an external worksheet link, or we can do it with a combined worksheet link. So we'll look at our Excel link first. So in our row, we're gonna to have to add a second link column. So we're normally gonna open, open up a row. We're gonna see our link to financial dimension column. Um, to add this column, to add another link column, there's a couple ways we can do that. We can double click in column J header, click on new and add our worksheet. So you just, when you click new, you'll get another option here and then you can set the link type. So we'll set it to external worksheet. The link name always defaults in with WKS1. You can change that and then you can add a description if you want to. You can also add it by going to edit and row links. It opens the same thing. So in our link to external worksheet, this is where we're gonna tell MR what cells in Excel that we wanna, we wanna point to. So I've got my Excel file here, and I'm gonna start with A2 on this first one here. And then you can see I've got this slash CPO switch. So that's a column period offset. So I'm starting at A2, and then I'll move to the right, I'll move columns depending on what period my report is set to. So if I generate it for period one, I'd move one column over, generate it for period two, two columns over. So same thing with the next one here. I've got A3 slash CPO. So I start here, that's my starting point. And then this last one, I've just got an Excel reference with no switch on it. So I'm going right to, to B4. So that row is always gonna pull in that amount regardless of the period. to come in here to our column. And in our column definition, we're gonna to have to add a WKS column. That's gonna tell MR where to put that, that information from Excel. So we've got our normal FD column, which is where our GL amounts will go. And then our WKS is where our Excel amounts will go. And because I'm using an external worksheet link, I have to use a tree. So the tree is where I'm gonna tell MR where to find my Excel file. So I add a unit. I have to choose my row definition. When I choose my row, that's the one that has my, my links in it. Now it's gonna auto-populate all my other units too. And then I can choose FD1, that's my financial dimension link. And then here I'll choose FD or my WKS column. So that's my worksheet link. And then over here, I'm going to enter the path to my Excel file. I'm pointing to my Excel file. And if my Excel file had multiple worksheets in it, I could type in the name of the worksheet here. So this, this, this location here, this could be something that's local um, if I'm the only one doing it. Otherwise, um, it, would, it would normally point out to a shared folder on your network. Um, and if you do that, your MR service account user needs to have access to that, that shared location so it can read from this Excel, uh, read from that folder and read that Excel file. So because I have a tree and my tree has that row definition in it, I need to mark this option here. And then when I generate my report, it's gonna come up and it's gonna have my Excel information in that column all of its own. And you can see this one I did for period two. So we had our starting point here for that first one. We had A2 generated for period two, we move over two. Same with this one. A3 was our starting point, we go over two. And the last one, the last row here, we had that one just set to, to B4 with no switch. So it always will get that amount. It'll always get 10 regardless of when we generate this. So the second method that we can use to, to link to Excel is a, is a combined one, is a combined uh, link. So in here, we're doing a link to FD plus worksheet. So we just go in, we, we double click on column J, double click in the header to open up our, our row links, or we can also go to edit and row links. We're gonna change our link type to financial dimension plus worksheet. Um, and then our description and our link name, we can change those if we want. And in here, we're going to enter in the path to where our Excel file is at. And then it's, it's a lot like the same as before, we have to, our, our cell references, but because it's combined, we have to tell MR 
what which which row is pointed to Excel. So here's our, our regular account, our GL account number. And then for our Excel information, we're going to use the at WKS. Tell MR this is a this is an Excel reference. So same type of thing here. Um, we just we're putting it into our column, right? Because we don't we don't need a WKS column because this is combined. It'll appear in our FD column. We just need to tell it which column we want. So B column B of our MR report is going to is going to pull in A2 and then B2, B1. So we did a little bit different here. So we've got A2 with our CPO switch. So again, we're starting in A2 with our switch, our column period offset. So it's going to move columns based on the, the period. The next one down, we're just referencing our our just referencing our Excel file without without any switch. So that one there, we're going to B2, B2, and we're getting in our amount there. And then the last one, we've got an RPO. So that's a row period offset. So it's like the column, but it's rows. So we're starting in B1, and then we would move down the rows depending on the period that we generate the report for. So we start at B1, we generate it for period one, it moves one row, period two, moves two rows, period three, move three rows. And because they're combined, we don't need anything other than an, an FD column. So this is column B. This is where we were forcing everything in when we had B equals B1. And we're doing it for period two. You can see it's the first line is our, our regular GL account number. And then the next one, that was our column period offset. So we had our reference of A2 with the slash CPO. So we generated for period two, we move over two. This one was, was set to B2, so it's not gonna move. It's always gonna pull in B2 regardless of the, the period we generated for. And the last one was our row period offset. We had it starting at B1. So B1 with the RPO switch, we generate it for period two. We move two rows from our starting point and we get our amount. 